Welcome back folks, today we are reviewing a milk stout from Ireland from O Brother Brewing and it's called the Nightcrawler. Welcome back to the channel folks, thanks for joining us again on another review <clears throat> tonight. We have a milk stout by O Brother. It's 4.5% volume and it's the brewery is located in Kilkul. Kilkulli, Kilkul, whatever it is. Here's your your bump. I'll do my pen if you hold it uh, still for you then you can have a you can pause the video. There you go. Tasting notes are just kind of off the page a wee bit there because it's on that wrong page. But there you go, it's the Nightcrawler. I'll show you the round the can. Uh, milk Stout, Old Brother Brewing. So there we go, there's the front of the can. I'll give you a 360. Not a bad graphic, isn't it? So fixed pretty well, the can's in perfect condition. A couple of light scuffs on the label there, but that's not going to bother anybody. So, let's see what it has to say about it. Incidentally, this is from Beer52's subscription, issue 76, which I think was two months previously here. Uh, it might have been March, I think. I fell a bit behind with my beer drinking lately, so I better get a move on and get my finger out. Usually not a problem for the hobby heavy. Anyway, tasting notes. This is a dark, delicious milk stout with thick, creamy head, packed with coffee, chocolate and vanilla notes and creaminess in the body that is typical of the style. Delicate hot bitterness balances the finish, leaving you ready for the next sup. Well, on that note, let's get it in the glass. <clears throat> nice dark chocolate brown colour coming out of the can with a light behind it. 330 can. There we go. When it's all in that volume it's nice and black, kind of browny head there, try and get it focused for you, there you go. So it's looking pretty good, it's certainly bummed itself up well so I'm looking forward to this, this is my kind of style, let's get a nose. It doesn't smell too potently strong but it's 4.5 percent so I don't think it's going to be a world beater body wise. But certainly there's a nice creamy uh, coffee. It has got a nice. I'm using my wrong hand again. I seem to have lost the plot with my left hand. Can I. Can I do that again with my left hand? I don't know what's happened to me. It's a nice aroma there, but it's not strong. It's not strong. There's definitely a coffee aroma there. Pretty mild. So let's let's get this down. Bottoms up. It tastes better than it smells, to be honest. Nice sweet residue left on my lips there. A nice malty, <clears throat> a malty, lingering kind of coffee back of the throat. The 
the body is quite thin as expected. Pretty nice, but for what it is, 4.5 percent. There's a nice, there's a nice flavour in there. It's okay. I've definitely had a lot, lot worse. <clears throat> it's not falling too well on this glass to do it. But uh, it's all right, folks. You'd certainly have a couple of them, three, four, or five, no bother without even thinking about it. And you'd enjoy the experience. It's not too bad. Be a bit thin, but wee bit thin, but not bad. So that's the night crawler. There's only one thing to do now, folks, and that is the review. The score. The score out of 10, what are we going to give it? Well, it certainly isn't a bad beer. And it's not an outstanding experience of flavour of body. Still got a nice little mild linger in the, the mouth yet, so... It's okay. It says it contains lactose, by the way, as well. Just for the intolerant. Score out of 10, I'm going to give it a 7. <laughs> 7 out of 10. And could have been a lot worse. Just for the thin body and the percentage, and it's just not. It's definitely well worth a 7 out of 10. Okay, that was Nightcrawler from O Brother. Uh, kill cool, kill cool, or is it kill cool? Eh? I would pronounce it kill cool, but I, I don't know nothing. So, there we go, folks. Last look at the can seven out of ten. Thanks for joining us again on this one, and we'll uh, we'll see you in the next review. Or we've got side that they make, so you might be maybe see on that one next. Cheers, catch you later. We'll get you in the next video. Bye bye.